So welcome to video number four. This is what you should do. All right, so now that we talked about some practical examples in the previous video, I wanna talk about the 80-20 rule and how that impacts you. And then of course, this is gonna be a short video and then we'll move on to the next video, which I'm gonna to reveal to you the exact layout of how your sales funnel should look like in terms of how you should set up your one-time offer. So this is gonna be really, really cool. We're about to get to the point of showing you this. I know we're going through a lot of basic stuff, but we're almost there. We're gonna to get to actually how to implement this stuff in your business. So it's really, really easy once you understand it, but there's just a couple of things that we need to get through first of all, all right? Now we are gonna be using the 80-20 rule. Basically, I want you to remember that 20% of your buyers make up for 80% of your profits. And sometimes even the 20% of that 20%. So what your goal here is you wanna segment the 20% and focus more of your time on them because they tend to be serious and less demanding. The other 80%, not that there's anything wrong with them, you can continue to sell to them and offer them value and stuff like that. But you wanna offer them specifically what they want. So you can probably figure that out as time goes on and you actually implement this process. But they often want more for less. They often tend to be more demanding for less money. So anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Let's move on to the next video and we're gonna talk about the exact funnel in terms of how you should set up your one-time offers and exactly what that looked like. 